Hey folks, Real Honesty with John Rithlin. I'm John Rithlin. I told you we'd be back, and that is... The Devinator. And we are here with the WWE No Mercy 2017 prediction. Seven matches on the card. We actually waited today, because we were going to do it after I Raw. predict <clears throat> somebody will win. Bold prediction, Cotton. Let's see how it plays out. <laughs> I bet on red when I play roulette. The roulette, they're a roulette of surgery from MXT. Anyway, um, there are only seven matches announced. We thought maybe they would announce another match. Yeah. Um, no. no. And that, whatever. If they, we'll do it on, like, Friday. And if they do, okay. Say Apollo Crews beats Kurt Hawkins again. Kurt, Kurt Hawkins. Kurt. <laughs> Man. Um, but, Shoot. Let's just go over the matches here. <clears throat> Neville versus Enzo yeah. for the Cruiserweight title. Who do you have in Neville? Yeah. There's no reason for Enzo to win. None. If he does, you might as well throw a title in the trash. Seriously. Yeah. I mean, honestly. Yeah. Like, I thought Jinder was a bad champion. Enzo would be worse. And he, Enzo would be worse. No, no. No, no, no. For the Cruiserweight title because you're trying to build the Cruiserweight title. That's true. The WWE Championship's almost beyond saving at this point, at least for another year. That or Neville's in dire need of a vacation. He's like... You know what? Give it to somebody else. I'm I'm gonna take a break. <laughs> <laughs> gonna give it to Yamcha. That's what Enzo is. <clears throat> no, Enzo's not Yamcha. He's Chaozu. Oh God, he is Chaozu. <laughs> Chaozu. Anyway, um, we have Neville winning because it's just again, there's no reason for Enzo to win. Yeah. And I would not be surprised if this was relegated to the pre-show. They might not have any match on the pre-show. They might not. And if they do, they'll throw something together like last minute. They might have the Hardys versus somebody on the pre-show. Maybe the Hardys versus the Miztourage. Uh, you know, Bo and Axel. Yeah. I mean, I guess we could pick the Hardys if they do that. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Um, so we have Neville winning. Yeah. And <laughs> Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt. Who do you have and why? Bray. I do too. Not with a ton of conviction, but I think that giving Bray this win would actually help. Yes. Um, It's not that Balor should keep eating losses, but Bray's I mean, has got... Has he really been eating losses, though? He hasn't been really winning, like, a ton of, like, big he matches. He hasn't been wrestling much, either. He hasn't been really creatively used well. Yeah. What you're saying, though, is more than fair. Um, They have something going with Bray stripping away the face paint. Saying to Balor, it, <coughs> without the face paint, you're just a man. Same thing he did to Goldust. Now Dustin. Mm -hmm. They got a little something going. Stripping away the stuff that makes people cool and proves that you're just a man. If you do this kind of stuff with Bray and have him win, mm -hmm. I'm not saying that Balor, again, should take a pay-per-view loss, but if you want to build Balor back up, having Bray win this feud and go on to something might not be a bad idea. Yes. With that being said... Uh, who did you pick? Big Bray. Yeah. Um, please let us be right on that. Um, <clears throat> Alexa versus Sasha versus Nia versus Emmy. Em Emmy. Emmy versus... versus that's Emmy. If Hi, you, Emmy. If you, if you seek AB. God damn it, that song sucks in my head. Hi, Emmy. Versus Emma versus Bailey. <laughs> versus the newly added Bailey. Because we need more bubble butts in this match. Kidding! Bailey's awesome. All these women are awesome. Um, <clears throat> who do you have and why? Naya! They've been having her built up. And right now's time to strike while the iron is hot. And have a monster on. Because when Asuka hits the roster, you want to make her championship con you know, convincing. Like, oh, Naya just beat everybody in the match. Oh, and then Asuka just completely dominated her. Well, damn. I'm now thinking about Oscar dominating. That's all I can think about. <clears throat> <laughs> Bully. I mean, yes. Yeah. Um, it's hard not to. Tiny empress that she is. Um, so you have Nia winning. I'm going to say Bailey wins. And I'm going to say Bailey wins for this reason. Because there is no logic to it. Yeah. But also, they'll say, oh, well, Bailey was off TV for like about six weeks. Something like that. Well, that and Bailey wanted a has been considering image change. She has. So it's got to be something <clears throat> dramatic for her to take that. True. But here's the thing. Now she could lose and could still have that image change. 
Say she wins. And then say they build to Bailey and Asuka Ooh, for the boy. championship. Because they had two good matches in 2016 on pay-per-view. Well, on the network. <laughs> you build to that. <laughs> Ooh. As I hold up four fingers. Um, I, I can math. Just, I believe earlier when you said three, you were also doing two. Did I, I did do that. God, man, I need help. Uh, um, but say Bailey wins. You bring up Asuka in October, November, whenever. Yeah. In, say November in time to be on Team Raw, part of Team Raw. You had Bailey and Asuka as the sole survivor, something like that, hmm. of Team Raw. So you have Team Raw win this. And then you build to that where Asuka maybe beats her in December. You build up to maybe a three-way at with Sasha in there. Yes. Throw Sasha. God damn it. Throw Sasha in there. Have Sasha, Bailey, and Asuka. You build something there, and you have Asuka take the fall. Now, that would be a little soon, but then you could, you know, go off with Asuka, or you could go off Sasha and Bailey, and Asuka could be bound and determined to get the title back, and then you could pursue it after SummerSlam. But she the could go through more women. The problem is that it's going to be the Goldberg effect. Once she loses. Mm-hmm. And that's unfortunate, because Asuka can take a loss and she be can. okay. But it's how creative with Booker. Yeah. Um... But and there's no cattle prods involved. Not a good idea. God. No, no wonder WCW went under with that, and then 1999 rolled around and Russo yeah. came in. Um, ba- I have Bailey winning though, just out of sheer idiocy. And this is not knocking Bailey, but just they said, "Oh, she was off TV for six weeks. Let's go ahead and just give her the title. Everything's fixed. Everything is not fixed. Nope. The best bet would be probably to go with your thing of Nia um, winning." And then build up that for a couple months. And then maybe in December have Nia lose to Asuka. And build up something like that. Because Asuka and Nia's match in, at NXT TakeOver Respect was acceptable. Um, Nia still was trying to learn at that point. Kind of still is. Mm-hmm. The problem is the bodysuit. Get rid of the bodysuit. But we've said that before. So we do not have the champion retaining. Alexa could retain. I wouldn't be opposed to it. No. I just don't think she will. Um, now we have Miz versus Jason Jordan mm-hmm. for the IC title. Who do you have and why? I have the Miz. Because right now, Jason Jordan isn't ready to take that championship up and run with it. Nobody believes in him like, you know, WWE wants them to. There are some people who are fans of his, and he is an extremely talented wrestler. He is what Shelton Benjamin was years ago. But right now, he's trapped... And the dumbest fucking plot line of 2017. Besides gender being champion. Good point. Dumbest plot line on Raw. So, yeah. Okay. So, right now, he's not ready. No. He's going to be stronger, not as a face, but as a heel. God, yes. Or maybe even a tweener if you need to. A tweaker. Does, does he look like Tess to you? I don't think it's good if he looks like Tess does now. Well, y- yes. <laughs> but anyway. Moving on from that. <clears throat> your thing about uh, Jason Jordan. Yes. And your choice is? <sighs> I have Jason Jordan winning, and I'm not terribly convinced with this, but here's the thing. Miz has done a great job building the IC Championship. The reason I would have Jason Jordan win is because this, the booking for SummerSlam was so stupid... Mm-hmm. <clears throat> half the time and letting people in way too late and having the Hardys wrestle like they were at an Impact, yeah. Impact show again. Um, the problem is, is if The Miz, for instance, wins it or if he loses and he has to win it back, they're going to have to do something about The Miz Taraj at that point. Yes. The thing is, they teased a breakup possibly on Raw. The thing is, the only reason I have Jason Jordan winning, it would be the perfect way... Yeah. Oh, he's getting everything too soon. He's getting everything too soon. He's getting it only because he's Kurt's... Uh, if you drive the point home... Yeah, right, Kurt's son. Uh, if you drive the point home more <clears throat> that Jason Jordan's getting this push and you force-feed him like this, you make the fans turn him heel. I mean, they're kind of already trying to do that. Yeah, Maybe that could work. Now, Jason Jordan could win by DQ and it could continue the feud. I just have Jason Jordan win. He may not win the title, but I have him winning this match. Somehow. 
Um, I like your idea of Miz winning, though. I mean, he should hold the championship. He should hold the damn championship for another six, seven months, at least. Put challengers in front of him um, and keep going with that. Yeah. Now, did you have more to say? Okay. Um, Ambrose and Rollins versus Sheamus and Cesaro. Do, 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 do. Uh, I hope Lampier lands on his feet. Yeah. Ambrose well, and... They seem to be starting their own channel. Which is going to be yeah. awesome. Yeah. Anyway, you Ambrose have, and Rollins. And I have Ambrose and Rollins winning also. It'll be a good match. It'll be a really good match. Yeah. The thing is, and even though Sheamus and Cesaro, if you were asking me a, a year or so ago, I wouldn't have said this, is a well-established tag team at this point. Right. But Seth and Dean are so far over with the crowd, it would be a bit of a disservice to take it away from them. Right now. Yeah, maybe. You have... could build this up to WrestleMania. Let the tensions flare between <laughs> Dean and Seth until then. And then they lose the titles. Exactly. Boom. And Ambrose turns heel because that has to happen. God. It has to. You have to unleash the You can't have someone that crazy not be heel. You have to un- do what Renee does and unleash a lunatic. Bruh. What? All right. <laughs> I'm not apologizing. Um, besides what I just did, I it'll be a good match. Sorry, I'm not apologizing. I'm not apologizing. Seriously, um, I agree. They could drag this out to Mania, and it would at least give these guys a spot on the card, a guaranteed spot on the card, because the tag titles are always featured well on the Mania main card. Right? Hey, no, maybe not. But with Ambrose and Rollins, they would be featured better. Yes. Um. So yeah, we have the champions retaining. Now, Cena versus Roman Reigns, who do you have and why? I have Reigns. Right now, it would be very useless for John Cena to beat Roman. Mm-hmm. So, and right now, Roman is doing some of the best promo work he's done in a while, which is saying a lot, but... He's been stumbling over some words, but yeah. Yeah, he, he's... <clears throat> I, I think the interactions with Cena have helped him tremendously. Yeah. I mean, if you can avoid getting shaken up as much as some people do when trying to cut a promo against John Cena, then you're getting better. Punk was one of the only ones, I think, that didn't yep. do that. You, you see a punk, <clears throat> you, you can't compare. Oh, no, I, I'm i just saying. It's like he's won um, Triple H. Yeah. But, yeah. but I, get, I get what you're saying about Reigns. And I have Cena. Yep. And I'll tell you why I have Cena. This is my idea of it. Well, congratulations, you're wrong. <laughs> Two wongs don't make a right. Except the people that I live next to. They always turn right out of their... What? I live next to Asian people that always turn right out of their driveway. Bruh. What? We just talked about this stuff. <laughs> no, seriously, dude. They were actually named the wongs. <laughs> Moving on. Cena, <clears throat> here's why. This is a terrible joke. Um... It was actually true. So, Cena, here's why Cena will win. Cena wins. He goes off and does the Bumblebee thing. No, no. Goes off and does the Bumblebee thing. Not the bees, not the bees. Out of context, I just get this image of John Cena dressed up as a Bumblebee. Like. Wobble Into the honeycomb. God damn it. <laughs> so, I have Cena winning for this reason. <laughs> Cena wins, lol, and he goes off to Hollywood, does his filming. Yeah. You build this whole thing with Reigns being upset that he didn't win. He starts getting more frustrated. He gets another fuse. He True. doesn't win. He does win. need an ego crush. He And he does. And, here's, and this is how you do it. It's kind of taking your idea that you've talked about. Mm-hmm. For about two damn years. And especially for about a year since being on the show. Break well, them down time. to build them up. Yeah. And you have to you train salespeople. And right now Roman isn't selling himself as well as he could. He's selling better than Shayna Baszler, which isn't hard to do. Did sell very well. Anyway, <clears throat> Cena wins. Goes yeah. out to Hollywood. Yeah. Reigns gets upset. He he keeps being in matches and stuff like that, but he'll lose some. He'll lose he'll, he won't lose them all, but he'll lose some. It'll get more frustrating to him. Because Cena will have the success. Reigns is still the guy there, but he's not winning like he should. He loses a championship opportunity. 
Yeah. Whether it's against a Universal Champion or whether it's against maybe Miz and Miz beats him. Something like that. You <clears throat> keep going keep Whatever. going with it. You keep going with it. And you finally build up to where if if you keep the title on Lesnar, and I'm not saying you should, yeah. you have <clears throat> Reigns beat the Universal Champion, whether it's Braun or Lesnar, at the Rumble. You then have Reigns and Cena have a rematch. Hmm. Reigns wins, retains the title, and beats and and beats you know a guy that. Now I'm not saying I want Reigns in a thir- in a fourth straight main event, but if you want to do it, yeah. that's how you do it. Yeah. But we're not going to fantasy booking. Yes. But still, that's yeah. not a bad idea. But anyway, now we have Lesnar versus Braun for the Universal Championship. Who do you have? And I have Braun. Braun! See, he does that better. I can't do it. I don't um, do it very well. I mean, you do, you do better than I do. If I, if I did it any, if I actually uh, tried to do it, I'd probably wake up my neighbors. Yes. If they're asleep. They aren't. Um. So, anyway, you have Braun winning. Yeah. I have Braun Wayne. Now, does that mean that Lesnar won't retain? It's possible he will. Braun could win by DQ, but this is my problem with that. Since Lesnar's not going to wrestle in 2017, again, what's the point then? Braun's got to win. He's got to win the title. Even if he only holds it till the Rumble and Lesnar beats him and you still go with the Lesnar-Reigns rematch, which is a terrible idea, then at least Braun's had a title reign for a bit. Yeah. <clears throat> So that's what I got. So you got Braun winning? Yep. I got Braun winning. Anyway, that's what we have to say. Do you agree? Do you disagree with what we've said? Do you think No Mercy is going to be a good show? I think it's actually going to be a good show. And we want to see your predictions down in the comments. Yes. We want to share that with people. Yeah. Happy. yeah, do that. Share the video also. Anyway, like, share, subscribe. I already said share. Do that stuff. This has been Real Honesty with John Ritlin. I'm John Ritlin. That is the Dubinator. And I think we'll be back for No Mercy. You say share a lot. Do you believe in love after love? I do not. <laughs>